I'm Joseph Napier Sr. Please come along with me as I talk about the life story of William J. Powell. William was born in Greenville, Alabama on November 22, 1916. William's parents relocated the family to Minerva, Ohio when William was still a little boy. In Minerva, William would excel in just about every sport, football, baseball, especially golf, where he would become the captain of his high school golf team. As a youngster, William would caddy at many area golf courses to earn money for his family. While Bill was stationed in England during the war, he had many opportunities to play the game which he loved. Bill had a genuine love and respect for the game. Bill exits the military in 1946 and returned home where he would encounter racial discrimination. Bill finds out that he is no longer able to play on the very courses he played on as a student. Bill then decided that he would build his own golf course. This would not be easy. He had to acquire a business loan. Everywhere Bill would go, they said no. He could not even get a GI loan. Bill was eventually able to borrow money from his brother and two black physicians. Bill purchased an old 78-acre dairy farm in East Canton, Ohio. Here a picture is the Powell family. This is the spot that Bill had envisioned in his head. This is the story of Clearview. Here is a picture of Bill's daughter Renee as she turned pro in 1967 at 21 years of age. She had been golfing ever since she was a three-year-old child. The year she was born, the course was being built. The course was her backyard. She took the golfing like a duck takes the water. Here pictured is her teaching much like her father taught her. Her brother, Larry, or Lawrence, serves as the ground superintendent. He takes on a, does a very, very fine job, a very hefty job, I might say. Clearview Golf Club is placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2001. Here, picture Renee is opposite the placard. Here's a picture of some of Renee's friends that you'll come to recognize if you don't recognize them yet. Renee and Jim Brown talk about Clearview's history. Renee serves as Clearview's head golf professional and instructor. As I mentioned before, here is Renee doing her thing, teaching much like her father taught her the game. Renee and her father was inseparable. Everywhere you see the dad, you often saw her. Here's a picture of Mr. Powell, who was a keynote speaker at one of the 90th year I see PGA golf event. Pal family and friends and guests. Do you recognize this young man yet? This is no other than Franco Harris, former running back for the Pittsburgh Steelers, which won four Super Bowl during his time on the team. And also you see other notables there, the Manning boys with father in tow as well. The Clearview story has been covered by many outlets all over the world from CBS Sunday Morning to ABC Sports to People Magazine, etc. Renee Powell's Hope Veterans Program is still going strong. This strong caters to men and women who are dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder. Clearview this year, 2021, is celebrating its 75th anniversary as a golf course. This is one of the last public pictures you'll see of Mr. Powell and Renee out and about. Mr. Powell would succumb and die in 2009 of complications of a stroke. December 31st to be exact.
Here is a book that talks about Mr. Powell's life rather explicitly. If you care to purchase one of these books, go to wherever fine books are sold, such as Amazon. Here's a picture of Renee about to go and receive one of the golfing's biggest honors over in Europe, a knight of high honor to be exact. She had a building named after her. Not too many people can say that, that she has a building named after her at one of the European golf clubs. Lawrence and Renee Powell will continue to carry the torch as they carry Clearview forward for future generations to enjoy. Bill Powell wanted golf to be colorblind. He often said that the only color that he sees is green. A clear view salute. Here's a picture of different signage and different things as I walk around uh, the facility this day. I hung out in East Canton on this day with my beautiful wife. Here you see a picture of um, some golf carts, of course, and some other um, items as well as you recognize that belong in the golf world. These signs point you to the holes on the course, of course. If you come to Clearview, you'll see a tribute to the Powell family. I call it on the backside of the clubhouse. I chose not to show this picture because I want you to use your imagination a little intrigue, if you will, and come on down to the course. Clearview Golf Club in East Canton, Ohio, where you can see what I mean about the backside tribute, family tribute to the family. I thank you for coming along with me. I'm Joseph Napier Sr. again. In closing, here's a picture of the Powell family, including Renee and Lawrence's late brother, Billy's included in that picture, along with their mother, Marcella Powell, of course, the father, the matriarch of the family. A salute to the Powell family and the Clearview Golf Course located in East Canton, Ohio. Thank you everybody for coming along with me as we celebrate Clearview's 75th anniversary.